Hey guys, it's Robin with Robin Stampin' Hood. Happy Monday. I'm sorry I'm putting my hand in front of there to see if I can get that a little different. How is everybody? I hope you're all good. Let me see what's going on here. Make sure you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Huh. I think I'm live. I think it's Monday. I think it's 8 o'clock. It is. Hello, how is everybody out there? Please say hi if you are watching. Um, I'm going to give everybody just a second. Hello, hello. I see three people. Say hi. What's going on? Ooh, now there's four. Okay, you guys, I got lots going on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Grab a water or something. Hey, Linda, we miss seeing you. You need to come over sometime. So, tons and tons. Hi, honey. <laughs> There's my supporting demonstrator coming on board. <laughs> okay, so I got tons of stuff going on, you guys. Um, it's almost the end of Stampin' Up's year, so I still have that paper sale going on. Uh, that is, you buy four, either cardstock or DSP. You can mix and match, whatever your heart desires. And you can get the fifth one for free. So I've had quite a few of you already do that. So don't forget, it's still going on. And I'll keep it going until the 29th of September at 8 o'clock. So I need to close everything out by then. So that's one thing, the paper sale. And that's through me only. So if you go online and place an order and want it shipped to you, that's great. Um, you can use the hostess code that's out there. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Jackie. Um, hey, Michelle. You can go out there and place that order yourself and then email me what pack of cardstock you would like for free. So it will be the lesser value of one. So if you order uh, four cardstocks and one DSP, one of the card stocks will be for free. So just keep that in mind. But if you ordered all five DSP or four DSP, then you could get, you know, um, the fifth DSP for free. So absolutely. So just keep that in mind. Lot You can mix and match. Um, so that's the one thing I'm doing, and that's through me only, okay? And now I'm excited to tell you about my stamp camp that's coming up. Did you see the post that I posted? I did it on Robin's Merry Makers, and I also did it on my Robin's Stampin' Hood Facebook page. So I have not done a stamp camp in a long, long time. I just haven't been able to find the right facility to do one. And so I have actually found one now in Burlington, and I'm super excited about it. So it is Saturday, October 22nd, from 9 to 4. It's $75, and that includes 10 projects and lunch. So basically, you guys, each project's 5 bucks is what it's going to be. So because the other two... Uh, 250 would cover your lunch and the facility rental. So, hey, Abby, you made it live. Um, so the cost is 75, includes all the supplies for 10 projects, your lunch, bottled water, and door prizes. So I would love for you guys to come out. Now, I do only have limited space. I've already sold two spots, so keep that in mind. Um, I My limited spots, I only have spots for 20. So just keep that in mind. Um, and it is not available as a to-go class. There's just no way I could do that. Uh, you would need every stamp set that I'm using. And I'm probably using 9 to 10 of them out of the mini catalog, the holiday mini catalog. Because we'll be doing um, some cards, of course. We'll be doing gift card holders. We'll be doing um, uh, slimline cards. And we'll also be doing... Uh, a, quite a few little treat boxes for the different holidays. So it'll be uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. So that'll be a lot of fun. So if you want to come to that, uh, the only way it's going to hold your spot is by paying me the, hey Christy, hey Char, um, is paying the registration fee. So again, that's October 22nd from 9 to 4. Okay, and it's in Burlington at Our Savior Lutheran Church. 
417 South Kane Street. So I'm super excited to be able to get their fellowship hall. I looked and looked and looked and nobody wants to rent uh, around here anyway. So Burlington's my best bet. So there you go. Okay, so paper sale. Don't forget the paper sale. And holiday stamp camp. Oh, and my next Christmas stamp stack, which I have not put out there yet, is October 15th. And I did end up canceling my October 1st uh, world card making day that I was going to have here. No one, you know, I had a few of you interested in it, but nobody had signed up for it. So I have canceled that. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be at the Elkhorn um, craft bash that they're doing at the Walworth County Fair. So I will have tons of cards for sale. Um, I probably have 500 cards I have to get rid of. So um, I just don't have the room to store them anymore. So I'll have cards for sale. I'll have little um, Halloween treat holders. I'll have some paper pumpkin kits for sale. So I'll have lots of variety out there. It won't just be cards. So And that is on October 1st. So I think that's it. So I'm going to point you down. And we're going to do some stamping. Because I do have some new things that I'm up to. So um, when I was at leadership in New Orleans this past month, um, we were talking about, you know, business ideas, et cetera, et cetera. And I know quite a few of you don't come to my home um, to craft with me, um, but you would like to. So I have um, now come up with these uh, card kits and uh, you will be getting, I'm going to show you kind of, I'm going to put some, a few of them together so you can see, but what you're going to get for $25, shipping is extra, it's an extra five. So for $25, you're going to get a kit to make eight cards, um, plus you'll get uh, a spool of ribbon and rhinestones and and all the supplies to make the eight cards. So I'm gonna show you those cards tonight, and I'm gonna show you where you can get inspiration too. So it'll kind of crack you up when you see it. So I'm going to flip you guys around. So bear with me one sec here. You're gonna see my ceiling, which is better than seeing my really messy closet across the way from me. It's a little scary sometimes. I know I have things, but I just can't always find them. So I am sure, I think you guys are good, right? There we go. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> hopefully that'll stay. So um, you can see I was frantically creating. Uh, I had lots of stuff going on this weekend, so I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done. But, oh, here's the Stamp Camp flyer. Again, I have it out on my both of my pages if you want to take a looky-loo at it. Um, so... Last week, I was I went to Bath and Body Works to buy hand soap. If you've been to my house, you know that's the kind of hand soap I like, the foamy hand soap from Bath and Body Works. And I came across this one. And I thought, hey, we have a poppy stamp set. I'm going to do some cards with that. So this is my inspiration. So you can get inspiration anywhere, right? You can get it from hand soap. <laughs> you can get it from your napkins that you have that you buy at the dollar store. You can get it from a piece of clothing or a catalog. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to use this for, you know, inspiration. So that's what we're going to do. So this is the inspiration for my card kit that you can purchase like I said for $25 and we're gonna I didn't finish all the cards so I'm gonna finish them for you right now and show you what my inspiration was so if you get this card kit again it's $25 you'll get a whole roll of the fun black gingham ribbon which keep in mind guys it's not just white and black you know you can take your your blends and color it and change the white to any color that you want it to be. So uh, that's why I like this too. But I'm using, obviously, this is my palette here, is black and poppy. So I was gonna do, this is like mint macaron, right? So I was gonna kinda do that, and I started messing with it, but I did that with one of the cards, and I'll show you. So I know most of you probably have this. So this was this was um, a stamp set 
a bundle, I think, that was sold a couple years ago. It's still current. It's still in the catalog. And, you know, we use it and then we move on to the next new thing. But when, again, when I saw this hand soap, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to use the poppy bundle, right? Because look, look. So um, this is in the annual catalog. And like I said, I'm sure a bunch of you already have this. And so when you get the card kit, you will need these stamp sets. Now you could probably substitute out the the sentiments for something else, but you for sure probably would want this because we're doing the Poppy Parade colors. So let me show you. So again, this is the first card. So you would get, again, two of these and you're using all the stamp sets in here or all the stamps in here and a few of the stamps in here. That's why I'm saying. I think you could probably substitute that out if you didn't want to get this stamp set or if you didn't have it. Um, but you definitely need the, need the painted poppies. So this would be the first card. And you, like I said, you get two of these with an envelope. And then I did the inside with just a little corner of the painted poppies. And I can't see your guys' comments now. So I apologize for that. If you're asking questions, I'll go back and answer after I'm done here. So then the other card I wanted you guys to make is... Um, this, this one. So again, you're using the poppy here and this has the fun little splashes in here and I thought that's perfect. You don't have to use your embossing folder. You can just go ahead and use these splashes. So we could put ribbon around that, but I decided I wanted some, um, some rhinestones. So you probably would like to get the Poppy Parade markers. And this is where I use the mint macaron. So you can see, hmm, um, very familiar looking, right? Now you wouldn't have to do that if you didn't have that one, which is fine. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this one up. And I'm going to use my rhinestones. Now we can color the rhinestones because we have the blends which I'm going to see what I like here. Um, and then I'm going to show you um, the other ones that I started to do, and then I didn't finish, and we're going to finish them together. And the other thing I like about this card layout is these are all the exact same piece of paper. You're just stamping something different on it. Is that not, like, don't you go, oh, that's brilliant, right? Like, I don't have to come up with a new layout. They're all the same, which is awesome sauce. So let's see, We're, I'm just gonna put this up here and see, do we want that? Let's color a rhinestone real quick. Remember, you can, you can color your pearls and your rhinestones and, you know, any kind of embellishment like this, you can color it with your blends. You can't do it with your stamp and write markers, they'll just rub right off. But these will absolutely hold the color. So I just, let's see which ones. You guys tell me which ones you like better, but I can't see your your um, comments. So, oh, I think that is way better, right? So let's do, and of course we need three of them, right? So I'm going to do two more. And we'll let them sit and dry for just a second. Are these not beautiful, you guys? I love them. Love them. Okay. Let's pull her off. We'll do one over here. And how about one over here? So that would be your second card of the four cards that you would make. Oops. So then let's go on to our next cards. And I have some of them done, or I thought I did. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go. I was like, I know I have some done. So, so this is, again, part of the, um, this is what the stamp is. And I did it, I used it here, but then I did it the long way here. And again, if you don't have the poppy blends, I highly recommend it. I don't want to sit and color all of these in front of you, but what I would absolutely do is color them all. And I'm just going to hit a few of them so you get the idea, and I'll finish coloring them in later. So I would color all these in. So pretty. So easy. Using the bullet 
point of the blends especially on these small pieces, that's what you probably need to do. So you get that idea. I will finish those and then post them later. And then, <coughs> excuse me, you're gonna use your piece of Poppy Parade again. And this is where I'm gonna use another piece of the ribbon. And again, this kit would include four, or I'm sorry, four cards, and you'd make two cards of each, and then you would have envelopes to match, of course, and insides because it's a darker cardstock, so you would do the insides as well. So I'm gonna do that. And then I need a white piece here, or a black piece. And you, you can mix and match any way you wanted to, but you can kind of see this is, a, a real easy, pretty idea. It's simple, it's quick. And again, if you wanna order, let me know. Okay, so I, you know, I, I'll show you what I had done. I had used, this is actually um, pear pizzazz, but I wasn't really crazy about putting that light green behind there. I just think the black makes everything look very classic. You know, black just just complements almost everything, doesn't it? Like Bermuda Bay, Bermuda Bay in black is just gorgeous. So, but then what I wanna do is I wanna take that splattering and splatter the back of the card because we wanna give it some depth, right? We don't want it just to be plain, plain Jane. So let's do that. No offense to the Janes out there. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of randomly, and I'm going to switch around the way this the blots are going because you don't want it just to all be the exact same direction. And I'm not doing it right in the middle because obviously that's where... This is gonna sit, so we're gonna put that like that. But to finish it, I wanna put some of that ribbon around it. And I like the ribbon to go around multiple sheets of, you know, of cardstock because it just gives it strength then. So you'll wrap that around. Now, if you have a bow maker, you can make a bow, but I'm kind of a lazy person that way, so I am just gonna I'm just gonna tie it around. And I probably should have stamped my flowers a little bit lower so I had a little bit more room for my ribbon, but I think it still works. Because what I'll do is I'll tie my knot right here and we can always scoot, scoot, scoot the ribbon down a little bit, if that makes sense. So, you know, if you're one of those people that you just don't always have time to get the cards made that you would like to have made, this is a great alternative for you. You you already have them made for you. You just have to put them together. And then you get some extra rhinestones. And, and I'm going to try to do this every month. I might only do it every other month because I do tend to get a little busy um, to help you with your card making. So, again, it's going to be $25. And if you want it shipped to you, it'll be an extra five, but you'll get everything you need and you just need to supply the stamp set and ink and your basic toolkit and then you should be good. Okay. Do, do, do. And these would ship out um, next month because once you've placed your order, then I have to order the ribbon and the, that's not something I can keep in stock. Isn't that pretty, you guys? And if you wanted to, you could just add, you know, you could add another rhinestone someplace. If you just want to give it a little blingy bling, there you go. Life is good, right? Okay, so that would be your, your third card. And then this was my inspiration card that from the actual bottle. So I'm just going to take a piece of my white. And of course I need my black. So let's go ahead and stamp our poppy. 
Mm -hmm. Remember, we all had to have the stamp set. Um, let's see. Uh, I think he's too far off, so I'm going to flip it over and do it on the other side. Because um, I want to show more of the poppy to show that it's actually a poppy. So I think that's okay. And then we're going to come back in with our actual ink, the poppy parade. And I'm actually going to stamp off because I don't want it super, super dark. Uh, let me make sure I'm going to go the right way. And this is supposed to be one of those watercolor, it's not supposed to match up exactly. It's just supposed to, you know, fill in for some co color, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to do one little leaf. So I'm going to take this leaf and put it off here. And then I'm going to take my mint macaron. <clears throat> And just give it a quick, I think I'll use the, the bigger tip on this. And just fill her in. Just because I thought the color on the bottle was perfect for that. Right? Let's see, this is the dark one. So I'm just using dark. I'm not going to try to do any blending. But there we go there. And then I'm going to make this a sympathy card. So I need my black again. And I'm gonna just stamp to see, make sure my, see my my stamp, even though it looks even, I need, I always stamp first to see if it's off, especially when it's these rubber ones, the red rubber, because you can never quite tell if they're really what they need to be doing. No, it's a little crooked, but it's okay. It'll it'll be all right, right? So then we're gonna take <clears throat> again our poppy parade. Excuse me for so clearing my throat. I don't know why I'm doing that right now. Your poppy parade, and then piece of your black yippee skippy well sympathy card's not really yippee skippy is it and then we're gonna take we'll set this aside for a sec and we'll grab another base and I didn't do all my insides either but you would get insides with this card kit. But I do want to do the, the splatters again. Oops, <laughs> not the sympathy. And again, I'm just kind of, oh, I don't, my, I didn't score very good. So we're going to do that again. I must have been... I'm not totally up against my scoreboard when I scored that. So let's try that again. Yep, that's better. So again, I'm just going to kind of turn my stuff and make it a little different around the ends or around the the ends, around the edges. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> and I think oh, we'll do one right up here too, right? Again, I just want it to have that depth. It just looks a little too plain. Let me show you, like when you put it, <clears throat> I'll put it up against this bad one. When you see there, it just kind of, it's kind of plain, right? But when you add just that little splash of color, it just, it just gives it a little something else. And my with deepest sympathy is way off. So I am actually going to redo that without you guys watching. And I'll post what it's going to look like when I'm done, because um, I think I would add a ribbon on this one as well, maybe going this way, and I'll scoop my with deepest sympathy over. But again, that was kind of my inspiration was this silly bottle. Is that funny or what? So there you go, guys. That is it. Uh, if you have questions about this kit, let me know. 
You can PayPal me, Venmo me, or send me a check. And then just let me know if you want it shipped to you or if you're going to pick it up. And it would be available by, um, let's see, the 10th of next month because I'll have to place the orders. And I'm giving everybody till the end of this month to uh, get me their payments. So you'll have till the end of this month, the 30th of the month to purchase the kit there's no i don't have any limits on it it's just whoever pays me by the 30th will get one of these kits and then um they'll be ready for pickup by the 10th of the month so um let's just show you again these cute and i'll finish these out so you can see exactly what the kit's gonna look like after i'm done here so there you go that's it, you guys. Don't forget, sign up for my holiday stamp camp. And, and uh, don't forget my paper sale. I'm really close to my goal. I think I only have like 470 left. And I know that you guys have been supporting me all year long. But if you feel the urge to support this month, please feel free. All right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a wonderful day and or night. And happy stamping.